Hi, my name is Pooja and I am going to talk about the topic Unemployment in India. Unemployment is generally defined as the number of persons who are willing to work for the current wage rates in society but not employed currently. Unemployment reduces the long-run growth potential of the economy. Nature of Unemployment Problem in India Present unemployment problem in India is mostly structural in nature. Unemployment problem of the country can now be broadly classified into rural unemployment and urban unemployment. Rural unemployment is again of two types, seasonal and disguised or perennial unemployment. Seasonal unemployment. Agriculture, though a principal occupation in the rural areas of the country, is seasonal in nature. It cannot provide work to the rural population of the country throughout the year. In the absence of multiple cropping system and subsidiary occupation in the rural areas, a large number of rural population has to sit idle for five to seven months in a year. Seasonal unemployment is also prevalent in some agro-based industries like tea industry, jute mills, sugar mills, oil pressing mills, paddy husking mills, etc. Disguised or perennial unemployment. Indian agriculture is also suffering from disguised or perennial unemployment due to excessive pressure of population. In disguised unemployment, apparently, it seems that everyone is unemployed, but in reality, sufficient full-time work is not available for all. In India, about 72% of the working population is engaged in agriculture and allied activities. In 1951, more than 100 million persons were engaged in the agricultural and allied activities, whereas in 1991, about 160 million persons are found engaged in the same sector, resulting in as many as 60 million surplus population who are, will, who are left with virtually no work in agriculture and allied activities. Urban unemployment has two aspects, industrial unemployment and educated or middle class unemployment. Industrial unemployment. In the urban areas of the country, industrial unemployment is gradually becoming acute. With the increase in the size of urban population and with the exodus of population in large number from rural to the urban industrial areas to seek employment, industrialization because of slow growth could not provide sufficient employment opportunities to the growing number of urban population. Thus, the rate of growth of employment in the industrial sector could not keep pace with the growth of urban industrial workers leading to a huge industrial unemployment in the country. Educated or middle class unemployment. Another distinct type of unemployment which is mostly common in all in almost all the urban areas of the country is known as educated unemployment. This problem is very much acute among the middle class people. With rapid expansion of general education in the country, the number of outturn of educated people is increasing day by day. But due to the slow growth of technical and vocational educational facilities, a huge number of manpower is unnecessarily diverted towards general education, leading to a peculiar educated unemployment problem in the country. The total number of educated em- unemployment increased from 5.9 lakh in 1962 to 230.50 lakh in 1994. Causes of unemployment problem in India Unemployment problem in India is a cumulative result of so many factors. The broad causes of unemployment problem are as follows. Population explosion The most fundamental cause of large-scale unemployment in India is the high rate of population growth since the early 1950s and the consequent increase in its labor force. It was estimated that with the 2.5% annual rate of population growth, nearly 4 million persons are added to the labor force every year. To provide gainful employment to such a big number is really a difficult task. Underdevelopment Indian economy continues to be underdeveloped even as a vast quantity of unutilized and underutilized natural resources are prevailing in the country. The scale and volume of economic the scale and volume of economic activities are still small. The non-agricultural sector, especially modern industrial sector, which could generate a huge number of employment, is growing very slowly. During the pre-independence period also, Indian economy experienced a slow growth. British destroyed the indigenous small-scale and cottage industries instead of expanding and modernizing them. During the post-independence period also, the performance of the industrial sector has also been found far below the planned targets and needs. Moreover, the slow rate of capital formation is also responsible for the hindrances in the path of realization of growth potential in agriculture, industry and infrastructure sector. Thus, this underdevelopment is largely largely responsible for slow expansion of employment opportunities. 
Inadequate employment planning. In the first phase, economic planning in India, employment opportunities could not be increased adequately. Moreover, weak manpower planning is also another serious gap in Indian planning. Less effort has been made for balancing the manpower needs and supplies in various production sectors in different regions of the country and also in different skills. This has resulted to large imbalances in the sphere of educated and trained personnel like engineers, technicians, cost accountants, plain graduates and poor port graduates, administrators, etc. Thus, huge amount of resources used for developing manpower could not come into much help due to faulty manpower planning. Slow rate of growth. In India, the rate of growth of the economy is very poor and even the actual growth rate lies far below the targeted rate. Thus, the increased en employment opportunities created under the successive plans could not keep pace with the additions to the labor force taking place in the country every year, leading to a huge and larger backlog of unemployment at the end of each plan. Backwardness of the agriculture. Heavy pressure of population on land and the primitive methods of agricultural operations are responsible for colossal rural unemployment and under-unemployment in the country. In insufficient industrial development. Industrial development in a country is not at all sufficient. Rather, the prospects of industrial development has never been completely realized. Due to dearth of capital, lack of proper technology, scarcity of industrial raw materials, shortage of electricity, and lack of labor-intensive investment, industrial sector could not gain its momentum and also could not generate sufficient employment opportun opportunities in the country. Prevailing education system. The prevailing education system in India is full of defects as it fails to make any provision for imparting technical and vocational education. Huge number of matriculates, undergraduates and graduates are coming out every year leading to an increasing gap between job opportunities and job seekers among the educated middle class. In the absence of vocational education and professional guidance, these huge number of educated youths cannot avail the scope of self-employment leading to growing frustration and disconnect among the educated youths. Slow growth of employment during economic reforms. Finally, the current phase of economic reforms introduced in India has resulted jobless growth to some extent. Economic reforms has resulted large-scale retrenchment of surplus workers in different industries and administrative departments due to downsizing of workers. The annual growth rate of employment, which was 2.4 percent during the year during the period 1983 to 19. 1983 to 94, but the same rate declined to a mere 0 0.98 percent during the period 1994 to 2000. As a result, the unemployment growth rates increased from 5.99 percent in 1993 to 1994 to 7.32 percent in 1999 to 2000. Remedial measures to solve unemployment problem in India. Unemployment problem is a serious problem faced by a large populous country like India. Thus, it is quite appropriate to suggest some measures to solve this problem. In order to suggest appropriate measures to solve this problem, it is better to identify some measures separately for the problem of rural unemployment and urban unemployment. Remedies to rural unemployment problem. As the nature of rural unemployment is quite different, it is better to, it is better to suggest some special measures to solve this problem. Following are some of these measures. Expanding volume of rural works. One of the most important remedial measures to solve the problem of unemployment is to expand the opportunities for work, especially in rural areas. In order to clear the backlog of unemployment and also to provide jobs to additional labor force joining the mainstream workers, this expansion in the volume of works needs to be done rapidly and that too in the areas of both wage employment and self-employment. As large-scale industries cannot provide adequate and employment opportunities, thus more importance should be given to the development of agriculture and the allied sector along with development of small-scale and cottage industries and also the unorganized informal sector and the services sector. Modernization of agriculture. In order to eradicate the problem of rural unemployment, um, unemployment, the agricultural sector of the country is to be modernized in almost all the states. This would derive considerable agricultural surplus, which would ultimately boost the rural economy and also expand employment opportunities in the rural areas. Attempts should also be made for wasteland development and diversification of agricultural activities. Development of allied sector. 
The problem of rural unemployment can be tackled adequately by developing a light sector, which includes activities like dairy farming, poultry farming, beekeep beekeeping, fishery, horticulture, sericulture, agro processing, etc., which are having a huge potential for the generation of employment and self employment opportunities in the rural areas of the country. Development of rural non-farm activities. In order to generate employment opportunities in the rural areas, development of rural non-farm activities like rural industries, the decentralized and courted small-scale sector of industry, agro-based industry, rural informal sector and the services sector, expansion of rural infrastructure, housing, health and educational services in the rural areas, etc. should be undertaken throughout the country with active government support. Since 8th plan, the government is following the strategy for the generation of rural employment rural development schemes in order to eradicate the problem of rural unemployment the cent the central as well as the state governments should work seriously for introducing and implementing rural development schemes so that the benefit of such development could reach the target groups of people in time decentralization in order to reduce the extent of the problem of rural unemployment it would be quite important to spread the location of industries around the small towns on the basis of local endowment position so that migration of people from rural to urban areas can be checked Extension of social services. It is also important to extend the social services in the rural areas in the sphere of education, medical science and in other areas which will go a long way for the empowerment of the rural people in general. Such a situation will indirectly motivate the people towards self-employment. Population control. Adequate stress should be laid on the control of growth of population through family welfare programs, especially in the rural and backward areas of the country. This would be conductive for solving the gr grow growing problem of rural unemployment of the country as a whole. Self-help groups and microfinance. Adequate steps should be taken for promoting self-help groups for generating self-employment opportunities. In this respect, microfinance flow through NGOs towards self-help groups can play a responsible role in solving the problem of rural unemployment. Remedies to urban unemployment problem. In order to solve the problem of urban unemployment, the country should follow certain important measures. Following are some of these measures. Rapid development of industries. In order to solve the problem of urban unemployment, immediate steps must be taken for enhancing the industrial efficiency. In this regard, immediate attempts must be made for expansion and modernization of existing industries in cost-effective manner and also for setting up of new industries. Some basic and heavy industries which were already established in the field of iron and steel, chemicals, defense goods, heavy machinery, power generation, atomic energy, etc. should be modernized and more such new industries should also set up in the new and existing fields for generating huge number of employment opportunities for the present and coming generations. More new resource-based and demand-based industries should be set up for generating employment opportunities. Revamping education system. Indian education system still largely remains very much backward and fails to meet the demand for present industries and administrative setup. Instead of giving too much stress on general education, stress should be laid on vocationalization of education, which would help the younger generation to involve themselves in small scale and cottage industries and also in the service sector. Services sector. Motivation for self-employment. In order to change the mindset of younger generation, especially from urban areas, attempts must be made by both government and non-government agencies for motivating the young people to accept the path of self-employment in the context of squeezing scope of employment through career counselling at the institutional level. Development of urban informal sector. As a good number of urban people are engaged in urban informal sector, Thus, adequate steps must be taken for the improvement and modernization of this informal sector so as to expand the sector further and also to generate more such employment opportunities for the growing number of urban unemployment persons. Banking support. In order to solve the problem of urban unemployment, the scheduled commercial banks should come forward with rational proposals for the development of SSIs, various units in the services sector and also for the development of urban informal sector with a sympathetic attitude. 
Government support. In order to tackle the problem of urban unemployment, the government should come forward with viable urban employment generation generation schemes in the line of PMRY, NRY, etc. to assist the urban unemployed for self-employment projects. Growing participation of FDI. In order to tackle the problem of urban unemployment, the government should follow a su suitable policy in the line of China for promoting the smooth flow of foreign direct investment into our country for its growing participation in various important industrial and infrastructural projects. Impact of unemployment. Effect on economy. Unemployment affects the economy adversely as the productivity falls below the normal level. When there is high rate of unemployment in the country, government has to suffer extra borrowing burden due to decrease in the production and less consumption of goods and services by the people. Social effects. Not only unemployment problem suffers the economy, even there are many social effects too. The following are some of the social effects of unemployment. Loss of skills. When there is unemployment in the society, people lose their skills due to no usage and it, and it causes human capital loss. Mental illness. There will be loss of self-confidence, frustration, negative attitudes towards common things when there is loss of income and a person's self-esteem gets hurt due to these mental illnesses. Financial obstacles. Unemployment brings financial obstacles in the family. People cannot meet their financial obligations on time and it brings frustration among family members, brings tension at home and may lead to suicides. Increased crime rate. When there is unemployment in the society, crime rate increases. When people don't have disposable income, they can go to any extent like theft, robbery and also murders in order to survive their livelihood. Political instability. Due to unemployment, people lose trust on government and their administration and this may bring political instability. Insecurity among existing employees. When the economy is facing unemployment problem, it brings insecurity among the existing employees and their purchasing power decreases due to fear or insecurity on their jobs. Poor standard of living. Unemployment causes poor standard of living as competition for jobs will increase and people accept for less salaries and their standard of living will decrease due to their low income. Employment gap. Unemployment brings employment gap in the companies for hiring a suitable person and for an individual who is out of job has to find another one in difficult situations. This brings the gap in income generation. Challenges to government. Several policies have been made to reduce the unemployment problem in the economy. Government just needs to focus on execution of these policies and work out hard in alleviating this problem. Government can expand capital projects like new roads, constructions of new hospitals and major infrastructural projects which can become a platform in creation for more jobs in the economy. It increases income generation to the economy. Reduction in taxation can bring higher purchasing power to the consumers. It gives some relaxation to consumers in spending their disposable income. Government should also take proper steps in investment decisions on huge projects like iron and steel, aviation, etc. Pro proper policies are to be made to boost up these projects, thereby creating employment opportunities. Proper recruitment, training and development are to be needed by every company in order to increase the capabilities of employees and to enhance their skills and show great performance in, in upbringing of the organization. Government can take an initiation in reducing the interest rates and it enhances the demand for credit and improves savings by the individuals. Necessary steps are to be taken by the government in increasing the productivity for the overall development of the country and reducing the unemployment problem in the economy. Unemployment is a serious issue for any economy. It creates negative effects to unemployed as they are jobless and suffer from worse prospects to find new jobs and those who are employed feel less secure to keep their jobs in future. However, for overall development of economy, government and individuals have to take initiative steps in increasing the productivity and improving the standard of living. Thank you.